brand new Jet Set Radio. This is not a drill! Big news, big news, huge news, gigantic news coming out of Sega recently, and this is via Nintendo Life. Sega looking to release brand new Super Game in the next five years. Apparently there's like this little whole business strategy that Sega just released, strategic portfolio. There's like a big reorganization in the company, blah, 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 blah. And Sega's like, man, we got a lot of games. Let's make some more games. So they talked about basically all the games they got coming in the next few years. This Super Game is kind of vague. It's like a new IP. Apparently we're going to get into it and read about it. They also said they're making a new Sonic game, but let's check out what they had to say. Sega has revealed that it's planning on releasing a new Super Game in the next five years. The plans were published as part of the company's recent financial results briefing, which also outlines precisely what Sega has planned for its short-term future. Listed as priority strategy for the next five years, an undisclosed Super release will be a brand new IP and will therefore have low profitability, <laughs> at least in the short term. However, Sega adds that growth potential is high as the game will be sold globally. What? I mean, uh, most big IPs from Sega are sold globally, are they not? Is this like, well, we're going to sell the game around the entire world. Can you believe that? That's uh, This is a new thing that no one's ever done. Uh, I would hope so, and hopefully it's not some free-to-play, microtransaction-filled piece of poop. Could be. Who knows? A lot of companies are kind of going towards that. Ubisoft, everything. They've been like, hey, we're going to kind of not really focus on the AAA single-player thing, and we're going to do... We're going to nickel and dime the hell out of you. <laughs> so hopefully Sega's not doing that, but hey. Who knows? Also, over the next five years, Sega will look to leverage its existing catalog of IP in the form of sequels. This is the most juicy, best part. I don't know why they didn't leave with this. Reboots and remakes. This approach was mentioned back in 2017 and has already given us Streets of Rage 4. Never played, but I hear it's great. Panzer Dragoon Remake. Eh! While House of Zeta is also getting remastered, funnily enough, Sega cites Streets of Rage as well as Shinobi, Crazy Taxi, Jet Set Radio. <laughs> wow. Can't, oh my god. Don't do it. Space Channel 5, Res, Virtual Fighter, and Altered Beast as potential candidates for this approach. Don't tease me like that if you're not going to do it, is what I mean. Uh, here goes the strategic portfolio. Key strategies. Priority strategies for three years. Strategy 1, making existing IPs into global brand. Sonic is not a global brand already? That's, new, that's news to me, Saga. Uh, establishment of strong IP, which is recognized as a global brand. Persona 5, is, is that a brand? I think that's just one game. Uh, there's a spin or a couple spin-offs, I guess, but Persona 5 is not really a brand. Is it Persona is the brand, but we got the Persona 5 logo here. I don't think Sega even knows what's going on over there. Fantasy Star Online, I've, hear, I've heard great things. Total War, I, I don't know what that is, but hey, <laughs> God bless. Uh, priority strategies for five years. Strategy 2, creation of Super Game. It's going to be the ultimate game of all time, apparently. Creation of titles which can be expanded globally. It can be expanded globally. Uh, right here, these are all global games. I don't know. Okay, Sega. Expansion of past IP libraries. Utilization of past IPs. Support subscription. Profitability is low on this. And they go, ooh, we, they don't want the Jet Set Radio. Yes, we do! The growth potential is high up here. This is just blank. They have nothing down here. They don't want the low growth potential and low profitability. Why would they put anything here? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, profitability, profitability high, but this has low growth. Optimization of business scale and focus on profitability. Domestic, mobile, amusement, machines. Uh, pachinko and whatever. I don't know. Mobile games, pachinko. There you go. And here's the meat and potatoes of it. Utilization of IP assets holds a large number of globally recognized IP utilizing these IPs after careful examination. Examples of active IP. Fantasy Star, Sonic, Total War, Football Manager, Ryugai, Go to Oh, Yakuza. Okay, well, Jesus. Persona. There it is. See, they got it right that time. Megami Tensei, etc. And then examples of past IP groups, including dormant IPs. Crazy Taxi. Fantastic. Love it. Give us some! There's like a spiritual successor coming out that I think is like even too close to the original. There might even be a lawsuit, something like that along those lines. I don't know, don't quote me on that. Jet Set Radio, another spiritual successor coming out as well. And I think the composer from Jet Set Radio might even be working on the spiritual successor. I, again, don't quote me. I'm an idiot, so I don't know. But I goddamn love Jet Set Radio. I am a skateboarder and rollerblades hurt my heart sometimes. When I was a kid, really, now I don't care. I'm an old man. I'm like, I don't. You do whatever you want, sweetheart. I'll give you a kiss on the lips, even. Uh, and then Space Channel 5, never played it, but it looks wacky. Rez, Panzer Dragoon, heard the remake was whatever. Knights, everyone wants Knights. Shinobi, Virtual Fighter, Alter Beast, House of the Dead is getting a remake. Switch Raid, so th this is what I want. Jet Set Radio, I feel like so many people want Jet Set Radio. It's such a beloved cult classic from Sega that does not get enough love. The original game on Dreamcast is already incredibly beautiful. We got the sequel or whatever the hell it is on Xbox. Played it a little bit, but my heart is with the original and oh, it just looks... Imagine a Jet Set Radio now with current gen hardware. That would just be fantastique. 
Uh, I don't know what this one is. We got one, two, three, one remaster, convert past titles into HD animation, two significant addition of new features while maintaining gameplay of the original game, and three is re reconstruct to a new game while maintaining look and feel of the world of the IP. I guess are these the options they could do, but I don't know how it correlates with this one, two, three. Like, I guess then they'd have to shimmy them down to the oh, crazy tax is a one. We're gonna do a one and a two. I, again, I don't know how this chart is supposed to read. <laughs> but boy, oh boy, this one made me pop a little bone. My god, I hope this comes to fruition. In the shorter term, Sega plans over the next three years to strengthen existing IPs to build a solid structure with brands such as Sonic, Fantasy Star Online 2. I thought they were making a new one. Persona 5. Why is this? Uh, this is not a brand. Again, this is a game. This is not a brand. Persona 5 is not a brand. Aren't they working on a new Persona game? It's going to be Persona 6. That's, this is just Persona. Yakuza and Total War. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe Sega, you know better than me. It's your goddamn game. It's Atlas's, but you bought Atlas, or so whatever, being the main targets of this strategy. Elsewhere in the report, Sega revealed that 4.4 million Sonic games have been sold in the past year, despite no new Sonic title being published in that time frame. I guess that's pretty good. 4.4 million Sonic games, you haven't even made a new one? God, I mean, I feel like the Sonic games we've got in recent years are very whatever, so 4.4 is very good. Sonic is just a strong brand. The games aren't that good. IMO, I know there's tons of like, oh my god, diehard Sonic fans, how dare you, Sean? I'm going to find out where you live, and it's not going to be pretty. I'm sorry, Timmy. And then 4 million Total War games. I've never even heard of Total War. Obviously, I'm a dingus. We're sold in the past year as well as 3.8 Football Manager. I've heard of Football Manager titles and 3 million Persona games. That's so sad to see all these games outselling Persona when it's such a goddamn good RPG. I uh, wish more people would play. I feel like if you play it, you'd like it. But, I mean, sometimes they are a bit of a drag to get into. So, I understand. You know what I mean? I understand. But I think people, if they really gave it a true chance, they'd enjoy it. It wasn't all good news. However, the COVID-19 pandemic had an impact on Sega's pachinko business. <gasps> oh, my God! Not the pachinko business saga! Ah! Who cares? No one. Not no, one single person outside of Sega is like, Oh, no! Sega's pachinko division is doing not as well as it should. Oh, no. Which suffered an operating loss of 10.6 billion, 96.7 million. How do you how, how do you lose money with pachinko? Like I don't, they're already there, right? I guess you're making new machines and no one's playing them. The pachinko business in Japan is a dying business. They put all these regulations on it. It's constantly getting more and more regulated. Uh, I know I know people in Japan that used to make a living playing pachinko, no joke, and the regulations. Uh, force them out of that line of business. It's just you can't do it. There's like caps on how much you can make and blah 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 blah. Pachinko is a dying business. Sega, t get out of Pachinko because no one cares. All right, such a casual thing. People playing Pachinko aren't like, man, I really can't wait for that new Sonic Pachinko. <laughs> I am just fired up about it. Just not that's not a reality. They just want to play Pachinko. They don't care, right? Maybe I'm, obviously there's gonna be a handful. I'm just I'm just generalizing here, okay? Uh, but yeah, this is all great news. Uh, fantastic to see. Sega is like a weird... It's like, I, you like Sega? I love Atlas. Absolutely love Atlas. But like, again, Sega bought Atlas. They don't really make... It's, Atlas is doing its own thing, and Sega's just like, we own you. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, but they're, like I said, Crazy Taxi, Jet Set Radio. These are fantastic IPs that I personally want to see some more of. So hopefully they get the ball rolling here. For a while there, Sega was just like, hey, you guys like Sonic? Here's some more Sonic games and some other random stuff that you don't want to play. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, they do have a lot of stuff that people want to see and they're just not giving it to us like look at this Look at this giant chunk of stuff here So give us this Sega and we will give you money gladly if you like the video drop a like comment subscribe helps out so so much in the algorithm and i really do appreciate it there'll be a pinned comment down below with all the other channels i work on outside of gaming stuff go check that out description has all kinds of fun ways to support the channel so go check that out as well and i'll see you guys later So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Uh.